Have you ever woken up in the morning and you feel a little bit angry or frustrated or crabby? Well, I woke up that way today where my heart was beating fast, my body felt really tight, and my breathing was really fast and I realized I'm a little crabby today with being stuck in the house, with not being able to go anywhere or really have anybody to talk to until my husband comes home from work. I can get a little crabby. So today I'm going to read You're a Crab, a Moody Day Book. This is by Jenny Whitehead. All right. Wee! Some days you can be a friendly dolphin with a squeaky laugh. Some days you can be a funny clownfish that flips and does somersaults. Some days you can be a silly jellyfish that does a wiggle jiggle dance. And some days you can be a crab. Hey, not all crabs are crabby, you know. Yeah, but she is. When you feel mad like an eel that zaps at whatever it sees, or a or mean like a shark that wants to chomp on something squishy, or frustrated like a turtle that snaps at his lunch but misses, then you are a crab. A hard shell, sand in your claws, crabby crab. Don't worry, sometimes I can be a crabby crab too. But not today. Today, I'm a frog that goes kissy kissy. I'm a minnow that wants, a, wants to tickle your toes. I'm a puffer fish that will hold its breath and make silly faces at you. Yes, today I'm in a good mood. But when you're not, and you want everyone else to leave you alone, go ahead and be a stinky ancho anchovy for just a little while. Or a mopey manatee, or a squid with a long face. And when you're hungry, tired, and irritable, and feel like blowing your top, be a whale. You can eat, yawn, and burp with one big gulp. Then I bet you'd feel better. But if you don't, how about I'll be the sea lion and you be the seahorse and we can play ball. Would you like to tap, tap, toss with your tail while I bump, bump, bat with my nose? Or I can be a sawfish and you can be a hammerhead shark and we can build something fun. Would you like to hammer, hammer, hammer while I saw, saw, saw? Or I can be an octopus and you can be a sponge and then I would have eight arms to hug you and squeeze you and hug you and squeeze you and hug you and squeeze you and hug you and squeeze you. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that anyway. But on really tough days, when you're not in the mood to play at all, you can be a hermit crab and I can be a hermit crab. And we can sit in our shells side by side until you feel better. You can take as long as you need because I will be right here. By then, I'm sure your mood will change because moods do that. And soon enough, you will be my happy, funny, silly little crab again. T-A-G-E-N-D, the end. So one of the ways that makes me feel better when I am feeling like a crabby crab is to do some breathing and 
and my cow class knows that breathing helps focus your brain, get you ready, and helps calm your emotions when your body feels tight, when your heart's beating fast, when you can't take a deep breath. So let's go ahead and do a bunny breath together. So a bunny breath looks like this. You get your paws up and we're gonna hop while taking a breaths in. And then after three hops, we're gonna let our breath come out. Ready? One more time. Now remember, when your heart feels fast, when your body feels tight, when you can't take those deep breaths, taking a step back, doing your breaths, bunny breath, the balloon, the drain, you guys all know how to do that. And it's gonna make you guys feel better. It's made me feel better today. Getting on here and reading to you today has turned me from less of a crabby crab into more of a huggy jellyfish. All right, thanks guys.